all of you left nothing much for me to talk about, uh, but I'll try my best. Uh, firstly, let me just thank uh, Jobs for her for nominating our organization. It's an honor to be here today and talk about what we are doing at Sodexo. Uh, and of course, uh, the conference has been so great. So I can totally resonate with Start, Restart, and Rise. It's the story of my life. Uh, and I do understand what women have to go through when they take a break. So uh, it's really great that we're putting in that kind of effort today. So this is Sodexo. Uh, when I talk about Sodexo and when I introduce myself, uh, almost everybody's heard of this organization, but you know, they come back with one answer. And I'm gonna ask you guys, do you know about Sodexo? Yeah? Please tell me what you hear about Sodexo. Cards, right. So everyone in corporate India has a meal coupons and I think that's been a great branding for our company. But I'm not from the cards business, so I am the lesser known cousin of Sodexo, which is also actually the bigger Sodexo business, and which is the on-site services. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about on-site services just in India. In India, we have 45,000 employees. Look at the number of organizations that we support on a daily basis. So we do your food services, your facilities, your technical services. Every day, a huge staff of Sodexo teams come into your offices. They are the hidden people, improving quality of life for all of you when you get to office every day. So some of those stats that we've put together are the number of meals uh, square uh, managed and uh, over a million consumers daily, right? So that's Sodexo, and I think uh, this is a good context to start with, and that's why I thought I'd share a little bit about the company. Okay, so what did we do at Sodexo? What do we want to share today? Uh, something that I think most of you are aware of already, uh, inclusive teams are good for performance, good for business. Right, uh, but unfortunately, not everybody understands that. To me, it's common sense, uh, common sense, and most of you, I'm sure, you also understand that. And that's why I think it's so important that the conversation should begin from the top. The leaders should talk about it. So in uh, Sodexo, uh, we started our efforts in 2002, and it's been almost two decades. We've been trying to create awareness and uh, drive people to inclusive teams. Our uh, group CEO started that, and uh, today we understand that diversity is not an HR conversation. It's a business conversation. And that's the reason why uh, DNI reports directly to group CEO or head of businesses uh, across the world. Uh, so one more thing that they did, uh, which I think is a very smart thing for them to do, in uh, 2009, they set up a gender steering committee. Uh, they called it, uh, earlier it was called SWIFT, but now they've rebranded to Sew Together. Uh, what they did was they inducted the topmost business leaders across the world, and you can see that even our uh, country president Rishi Gaur is on the list. So this group of steering committee, which is from 20 countries, uh, 34 senior leaders, uh, show their commitment towards uh, diversity and inclusion of women, and that's what they've done actually. They've driven our uh, board members. So when they started this work in 2009, we could see that we had really no number of women in our senior leadership in our board, but today we have 54% in our board and 37% in our topmost senior levels uh, globally. Right. Uh, another smart thing that this steering committee did was to come up with a business case. Uh, unfortunately, even though we are 50% of the population, we still need a business case to tell uh, our leaders and our hiring managers why hiring women is good. So we took five years of data and we put our teams, uh, bifurcated them into 40% to 60% uh, management teams and we looked at the results. So if you see, we took uh, profits, we took uh, employee retention, client retention, safety, which are our key priorities, and we realized that if the gender balance teams have higher uh, rating, they're just doing better, and we have the statistics now to prove that there is a correlation between well-balanced gender teams and performance. So our sweet spot lies between 40 to 60%. 
All right. So uh, in the last uh, two to three years is what we've started to uh, analyze how Sodexo uh, India looks like, and we started to put a lot of HR practices uh, in it. Some of the basic stuff uh, was uh, very simple stuff like job titles in Sodexo were like you know office boy, pantry boy. So we were actually creating gender. selection right at the uh, place where we were hiring people so we changed all of that we looked at all of the titles changed it uh, we have uh, put something called bring back so now we have a representative from every hr Uh, regional HR team to call up every woman who leaves the organization and then set up a date for her to join us back then we have a uh, reference uh, we pay you higher if you are for a woman and uh, on our recruitment i think all, all of you have already spoken we have 25% women candidates on every regular position that we hire for um apart from that we have a, a one day mandatory workshop for all managers and above which looks at unconscious bias and brings a lot of exposure to diversity and inclusion uh, even after a lot of conversation has happened in the last 5 years or maybe a little bit more in india believe me managers still don't know what is the definition of diversity and inclusion so i think that has helped us a lot and these are this is how it's helped us uh one more uh, program before we go to the india numbers is uh, pragati what we did was uh, we uh, gave managers target we realized unless managers are accountable we can go and talk about awareness and how inclusion is good but unless we make managers accountable nobody is going to do it they're going to say oh that other managers will do higher why should i be doing it so we made managers accountable and we gave them targets and then to add to that we also added 10% of our annual bonus to achieving those targets so finally this is one of my favorite slides why is it a favorite of mine because i've recently realized the power of collaboration almost 80% of all of you are probably my clients and my teams are sitting at your office servicing you the moment you and i join our hands i'm able to hire more women in those teams working with you and that's how we also support our clients diversity and inclusion priorities so if they are driving gender uh, balances if they are working on lgbt if they are working on inclusion of persons with disability we work with them in getting those uh, diverse talent in our teams servicing you so what has that done for us uh, in the last year we did our gender numbers now out of 45 thousand over almost 8500 8500 are women so that's uh, we increased almost a thousand last year because of all the changes that we've made and uh, our uh, country president has made a commitment that we'll reach 30% by 2021 over 900 managers were trained some of them came back and told me that i wouldn't ideally hire a woman but i actually had a mindset change after going through that one day workshop and this workshop we also do for our clients if they're interested we have now 25% women in top uh, in operations top most leaders so we said we are not going to target all the leaders because usually we have these niche uh, we have these roles where women come in anyways so we are going to target only operations so today we are at a 25% uh we worked a lot on uh, with clients which i've already spoken to you about most of the stuff that i have shared today is uh, based on gender we also support small and medium uh, businesses which are run by women in our supply chain we have a commitment to support them so in india we support 100 such businesses and um, uh, we also obviously work on other dni priorities like uh, i spoke to you about persons with disability lgbt generations cultures and origins So I just wanted to share a small uh, video with you, which is our way of life. I know G already spoke about it, so they stole the glory around it. But I'm sure they'll be willing to share with us. We call it Wow. Uh, this is a video of what we are trying to do with different organizations around the world. Today in India, we also support, uh, you know, foundations of our clients who are trying to uh, train women. 
and finding employment for them. So uh, some of those examples are right here. Would you please?